What's up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Pixelmon 1.8 Survival on the Poke Legend server. If you're interested in joining the server, as always, links in the description on how to do that. As well as I ask you guys to all add me on Skype, as I think later in this episode I'm actually inviting on a fan, or inviting, uh, adding a fan to the server, so look forward to that. And uh, if you want to do that, you could add me on Skype and comment down below, and I did not mean to place that torch. But what I'm here to show you guys today is you gotta have a little talk. Gotta have a little oh. Oh, oh, he wants me to do Ark Survival. Oh, cook chicken. Play Ark Survival. So actually, this too, uh, this is another thing I wanted to talk about. Do you guys want to see me play Ark Survival? I know the Jurassic World hype is in full uh, steam right now. So uh, I was just kind of wondering. I, I don't know. I was thinking about doing it. I, I created a poll for the subscriber chat and I got pretty good response. So I figured I would now pass it on to you guys. Should I play Ark Survival? Tell me in the comments down below. If enough of you, enough of you say yes, I will definitely do it. So uh, I definitely would recommend commenting if you don't normally and you want to see me play it. So um, yeah, and now wah, wah, wah. So we sadly only got, we haven't been doing that great on likes, guys. Well, on the past two episodes. So the past two episodes were uh, episode 24 and episode 24 and a half. Episode 24 only got like 45 likes. And then uh, the other one was a live stream highlights. I understand not many people watch those because they're long, unedited, and not as polished. But I don't know. I, I feel like we could do better uh, on likes. I, and actually, while I say this, I'm probably going to be going YouTube full time over the summer. Actually, no, not probably. I am definitely going YouTube full time over the summer. And that starts in about two days. So I would love to see some better likes for this. If you guys are hyped for this, there's going to be more details, obviously, once I actually start doing this. So, um, yeah, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like we could do better. So let's see if we could get some better likes on this episode. And this guy's trying to kill me. Um, but uh, yeah, so I have a lot of things to show you guys. I did a lot of stuff off camera. So let's get to that now. So we are back in my house now. And uh, I worked my butt off off camera, guys, to make sure we had all the stuff at least mostly ready for the tournament. So next episode will actually be the tournament. Today's going to be the tournament prep. It's actually the tournament itself is later on in uh, this episode. But... I got the breeding thing down, if you do know the live stream. I was doing it completely wrong. I had to catch all kinds of new Pokemon. That's a completely other story. But breeding to get the right freaking guy. I did it wrong so many times. And then the Gastly's. Look how many Chimchar. So first, I started breeding wrong. And I started getting Torchix. I was breeding Torchix. So as you can see, there's a few straggler Torchix about. And I was just doing it completely wrong at that point. But then, I started getting trying to breed for Chimchars. And it wasn't working. As you can see right here, these ones, I forgot to have a blaziken with blaze kick on him so they got none so that was one batch of eggs and the way i did this was i waited till have five eggs to fill up my inventory then go run around with those eggs and kind of do all kinds of different things and um, the second batch only got uh bulk up because i don't know it was just weird like blaze kick was here and bulk up was the bottom move and they only got bulk up not blaze kick so that was not fun um this batch i forget what happened with this batch oh this one's actually got blaze kick but then they didn't get any good natures or something like that. And these ones got Fire Blast because I taught it Fire Blast to try and someone gave me the Fire Blast TM to try and uh, counteract this and uh, to uh, replace Bulk Up on the bottom. And that didn't work. So I had to get a new Torchic and train it all the way up to level 60 something. Some other guys helped me. I kind of boosted uh, unofficially, but I'm not really using it. So I don't think it's not boosted, but other people let me kill their Pokemon to get it to the higher level. But again, I don't think that's a big of a deal. So finally... Oh yeah, and Aerial Ace, that happened too! So, so as you can see, it was a very struggle, I, I, uh, yeah, I don't know, I didn't even know Chimchar could learn Aerial Ace, but whatever, finally, we did get the right ones, as you can see, well, that's not it, but there's somewhere in here, uh, but nonetheless, I will show you them, they are right here, I did separate them, and yes, these are the two Chimchars, we could use one of these, they actually, we have a quirky natured one, we have a few of these, we have a few options, but these are the best natured ones, and they do have Blaze Kick and Bulk Up, which is actually really good, because Bulk Up boosts our defense and our offense, so that's, that's quite a good nature to have, as well as we also have this one, which is, uh, he has increased attack and lowered special defense, which isn't the greatest, it'd be much better if we had increased attack and lowered special attack, but, uh, honestly, I'm not too worried about that it, it is what it is and um i'll take it as it is because i don't know i think we're going to be mostly offensive and frankly if we get hit with a water move i don't think we'll survive regardless so i think when you use this one we do have this other one which is quite good we could trade or sell it for something because obviously getting it was quite difficult so we'll put that in our inventory as well as you do see all these ghastlies so obviously hatching all of these eggs took quite a long time it was a lot of walking it was a 
hours of walking. But what I did, I took that opportunity to try and catch some Pokemon. I found a lot of boss Pokemon. I made it a point to like hunt down boss Pokemon. And um, actually, we got a bunch of Eevee enhancing items. And we also got this Ghastly. Okay, this thing took forever to catch. These are, oh my god, I had to catch so many. And literally, I caught all of these. This was the last Ghastly I caught. And this is the perfect natured Ghastly. I don't even know what moves he has. Oh, he actually has Hypnosis. It's interesting. Um, but yes, he so he has lowered attack, increased special attack. Again, this took ages and ages and ages to get. And um, <laughs> so a modest natured ghastly. But we did finally get it. And we are EV training these two. We are not messing around with this stuff anymore. So uh, we're going to put ghastly right there in place of Mantine. And... Yes, we finally have a completed team. Our team obviously has tons of holes in it, but honestly, the amount of time... I don't even really want a Ghastly on this team, but just the amount of time it took to actually get these dudes, it, I needed to do it. So, I had to get some more Quick Balls, if you notice that. I actually have... I used to... I had a stack and... It's like a stack and a half, but I obviously used all the Quick Balls with catching all those Ghastlies. Um, but now we do have... Uh, we still have quite a bit. And we have a level ball and heavy ball too, but we also did get some EV enhancing items, so such as a power lens, a power belt, and actually, yeah, I had, who did I have the power belt on? I had the power belt on you, Fortress. It doesn't actually boost attack, which is fine, because Fortress is using attacking moves, but um, I thought it was boosting uh, HP, but that is not right, So or power bracer, so uh, the power belt is actually what boosts attack, so we'll give that to... Um, or that's actually what boosts defense. So we actually could give it to her. But I want to give it to you Fortress there. And Power Anklets. What? What just happened? The Power Anklets. Wait, what's the Power? Oh, Power Anklets Speed. So uh, I was thinking about giving that to Ghastly or them. If I want to hardcore EV train them, I don't know how intense we'll get. But these are all the ones that were relevant. I think I got almost one of each. Again, I killed quite a few bosses because I spent a lot of time traveling. And then we have this one, which is a special attack, which um, I wanted to give this to Ghastly. Because that seemed to make the most sense. The power lens boost special attack. So now what we got to do is actually go train these dudes up. So I think the best way to do this is probably going to be to go to the desert. Because that's where a lot of the high level Pokemon spawn. I'm obviously not going to show it because it's going to be pretty grindy. And I do want to have all this ready for the Pokemon tournament. Uh, or for the Pokemon, yeah, for the tournament itself. So uh, I'm going to do... A lot of this off, uh, not all of it. I mean, I'm going to show you the basics. Like, I want to show you Chimchar evolving and all that. It sucks that we don't have, we can't use the shiny Chimchar anymore, or the shiny um, other dude anymore, but it's not too big of a deal, and uh, I can't leave the healer. <laughs> but uh, again, not too big of a deal. Oh, yeah, and I call, I found some new biomes. So uh, during this, I also found a cold Taiga biome. So in the future episode, we're going to finally get a Sneasel. Uh, I also found an Ice Spikes biome, which I'll show you this. I didn't even know this was a thing. Ow. But um, as you can see, it is quite cool if you travel in here. Look at this! Isn't this is it's really really cool. So I don't I don't know what even what spawns there. As well as I found a mega tag biome, and I was obviously flying when I found it. Yes, that was the most efficient way to hatch eggs and such. But um, as you can see, this one's really cool, and this one looks like very dino-y. So I don't know. I just found this to be a really cool biome. So I uh, I made some waypoints here on my ventures. As you can see, I am. 8,000 blocks out, actually 8,000 and then another 4,000. I traveled a lot. Uh, there was a lot of walking and I would set waypoints and then teleport back because it was fun exploring actually. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'd put on like a nice podcast and uh, just kind of hang out. So again, all around, f you know, not, not the greatest experience, but it was a pretty, pretty uh, enjoyable, moderately enjoyable experience. I'm happy I did it. I'm happy we finally have all the Pokemon we do want to have. Um, it's not even so much about doing good in the tournament. I just kind of, I, I wanted this team, and I'm happy we got this team. Like, uh, these are all the Pokemon I wanted to get, and yeah, now we have them, and I'm, I'm happy about that. I, I'm happy with how things turned out. So, now we have to train them. So, I think I'm going to start with Chimchar, just to get him to evolve, and they're going to try and evolve Ghastly as well, because obviously, Ghastly, you could just evolve immediately into the other dude, which name escapes me, um into Gengar, which is obviously going to be the third one we want, and yeah, so we're going to battle this by Brava with Chimchar, oh my god, as the Pokeball glitches out, <laughs> look at that, whoa, okay, so uh, it, it might be lagging, there are quite a few people on the server, and I retrieved Chimchar, and oh, look at this, this, uh, this Vibrava is kind of like, he's like, why are you all tripping, man, all right, so there you go, Vibrava actually initiated a battle with me, so it looks like Ghastly got into the battle, that's okay, so he's only a level 36, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, who would we send out here? I would probably send out Gar Gardevoir, but I don't think he's high enough level yet. So I think we're just going to send out Needle Queen for the time being. And we could use some of our rock. Actually, you know what we could use? We don't have really like an ice boom. Oh, he's super effective. 
Um, oh, I thought you had Crunch, but that's Tyranitar. So we could just go for Body Slam, and it's going to do a lot of damage because Needle Queen's a god, and we have increased attack and all that. I don't think I'm going to EV train Needle Queen because we got one level. <laughs> so uh, so I did hit the point where Ghastly started to evolve. Uh, yeah, I actually just killed a Flygon, and both Ghastly and Dragonite leveled up. We're still not that high of a level. We still got a ways to go, but um, we're at a decent level now. And we, I, I do want to show all the evolutions and all that because I think it is quite exciting. And there you go. So we finally got a Haunter. So I think I'm going to switch over to... Uh, oh, we got Shadow Punch too, which I don't want. Uh, the user throws a punch from the shadows. It will land without fail. Uh, because obviously we have lowered attack and increased special attack. Not really going to be worrying too much about those um, attacking moves. I don't really... Not really interested in those. So let's... um. Let's see, we'll battle this dude, and I think I'll switch into... Yeah, Dragonite, because he's fighting, and... Oh, we, yeah, we're pretty low HP. We do have Thunder Punch, which uh, can one-shot him. So we should gain quite a few experience here, or quite a few levels here. As you can see, we're going to get all the way to 15. So uh, I guess I'll get rid of that. And we learn Taunt, so I got to make sure not to get rid of those two. And, oh, so he levels up at 14. I always forget about that. Chimchar is one of the, the odd ones that levels up a bit earlier. And there you go. So Chimchar is evolving into Monferno. Finally. Wait, this is Monferno, right? It'll be awkward if it's not. Yeah, it is. Uh, because Torchic evolves into... Uh, combustion. Yeah, Combustion. I always call him Combustion. So, there you go. We got a Monferno now. And as you can see, we are doing quite well uh, for ourselves as we just got all those levels on Monferno. So let's try that again. And it's weird seeing an... I can't switch. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm going for a Blaze Kick. I don't... Th yeah. <laughs> Didn't have high hopes for that one. But um, yeah, I've been, I've been able to use Magical Leaf and mostly one-shot uh, some a lot of Pokemon... As I say that. <laughs> well, that's awkward. Um, uh, Not too big of a deal, but... Yeah, that actually kind of sucked. So, I don't have any real, like, attacking moves on anyone yet. And he is, like, destroying me right now. So, we'll just switch into Fortress and go for a Bug Bite, which should do a good amount of damage. There you go. And we finish him off. So, as night falls upon us, I actually found a Boss Graveler over here. So, we're going to try and take him on. I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing. This is, And I'm essentially just going into battle and then switching into Dragonite because Dragonite actually has Aqua Tail which has been uh, working to pretty great effect actually okay well not that time but yeah it's been yeah as you can see we've been doing quite well and I normally use Thunder Punch now but obviously I can't and we should finish him off he avoided the attack <laughs> keep doing that uh, alright so we finish him off and we'll get him on Furnace level 26 only one level that time and we get an orb and an aluminium hammer that's actually really anticlimactic, but uh, that's okay. So, oh, here's actually level 40. Oh, crap. That's actually really good because Dragonite uh, could get quite a few levels off this. So, we could go for an Aqua Tail. And, oh, yeah, Dragonite has the experience here. Why does he have that? So, we could uh, hopefully finish them off. He's going to continue to avoid the attack. Aqua Tail obviously only having a 90% hit chance. And is, he is, this guy is kicking my butt. So, here comes out coughing. I will just go for a fly on him. Not trying to mess around with the coffin, because uh, the poison is scary, and we can finish him off with a thunder punch. And now comes out Flareon. Uh, we'll go for another Aqua Tail here. Hopefully, we'll get quite a. Oh, damn it! They keep avoiding the attack. Um, all right, so we should finish him off. Did he die? Yeah. Okay. Fortunately, I think these Flareons could give me a lot more uh, experience, and then just fire. Um, so obviously, nighttime. I, I I think I do like training in nighttime quite a bit more. Because, um, well, you have Slugmas, and I don't see any Slugmas right now, but, er, is that the second evolution? Yeah. So, I, I, Slug, uh, crap. This keeps happening. Um, I guess I'll just go for a Blaze Kick. Which, d holy crap, this does a lot of damage. He might kill me, but, if he uses the same move, but, uh, still. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. Not too big of a deal, though, because we could switch into Garvador and use Magical Leaf. And he's going to use Arena Trap, so I can't go anywhere, but we could finish her off like so. And uh, Dugtrio will battle me now. So we go for a Spite on him. And I actually don't even think I could kill him. Crap. Uh, that's so embarrassing. But it's okay. He's level 22. Uh, yeah, my Haunter has, like, the... He's, like, one move away from being amazing. He just... He does, he's got to learn that move, and uh, then we'll be good. All right, so finally, about four attempts later, I got my Haunter to evolve into a Ghastly. Um, it actually... I kept trading it. It wasn't working. You can't have it holding an item. Uh, I had it holding whatever item, and it wasn't working. So, uh... I, what was it? The, uh, the lens, or no, the, the thing that boosts it. So we did get a get, or a haunter 
into a Gengar finally. So we do learn Shadow Punch again. I don't want Shadow Punch, obviously. And um, yeah, so everyone else, I kind of have been working on getting them to a good level. So I, I leveled up you. So I think I'm going to give... Um, I think I'll give the Lucky Egg there, and I was using the Lucky Egg on all of these guys, and I obviously, I haven't been using the Experience Share, but i kind of been keeping there to preserve inventory space, but, um, as you can see, we didn't learn anything too, too crazy on them, uh, guess, or er, Kangar is exactly the same. On here, we actually did learn Psychic, which is really good, and everything else is exactly the same. On you, we did learn Dragon Rush, so I got rid of Thunder Punch finally for Dragon Rush, because I figure, um, I don't know, it's a better move and more fitting for him. So, we actually learned two new moves on, on uh, Mr. Fortress here. We got Iron Defense as well as Gyro Ball, so Iron Defense will boost our defense stat by one uh, stage as well as gyro ball it uh the slower our speed the more damage that does and we have a pretty crappy speed so uh not the best move but uh better than nothing and then uh here nothing that's he's been level 50 uh here uh, like torment and stuff nothing too crazy and that is it so now we only have a few levels left to go uh, everyone else is pretty much ready we just need dragonite gengar and monferno and uh we we are we are really close so uh, i'm pretty stoked about this i'm actually let's go to the cold taiga taiga because ow because why not i mean we'll mix it up a little bit I don't know what spawns here. Maybe we'll get like a mammal swine, which would be awesome because mammal swine is like a, a stupidly high level. But uh, <laughs> so far, we're off to a horrible start with nothing spawning at all, but that's okay. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm having fun with this. I'm excited for the tournament. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. I don't know how well or badly it'll go. We're representing Team Magma. Obviously, we're going to wear our Team Magma armor very proudly. And we do have a few Flappies over here. We have a Spiel. I actually probably should battle these guys because I will get Eevees if nothing else. So, uh, I, I should put these. Oh, yeah, my power line's duped. So, that's always nice. Um, let's actually put the power lines on you. And I could Eevee train the other ones. I might do that, actually. And who else? Dragonite also needs that, so I'll give you the other power bracer we have. Fortunately, we have two power bracers and two power lenses now. So, uh, fortunately, yes, that is, that is very fortunate <laughs> for us because those things come in handy like crazy. So it looks like we're all we're getting is Flaffies and Spheels, which are both really low levels. So maybe this was not the greatest idea. We did get to explore it a little though. So that's oh, Mango's house, not not actually where I want to go. I want to go to Sahara. But uh, I guess you get the idea. And for whatever reason, being in the Sahara lags me, like, quite a bit. Um, I don't know. I was getting some pretty horrible FPS in here before. Now I'm not, obviously, uh, if you guys could tell. But, yeah, I don't know what the deal with that was. It's It was uh, kind of weird. So there's a Scyther over there. We can battle him with Monferno. Relatively easy. And a level 28 Scyther, which is perfect for us. So we'll just go for a Blaze Kick. Obviously, having Blaze Kick is freaking amazing. We could pretty much take on any Grass Pokemon, uh, within reason at least. And obviously we got this guy over here as well. We're gonna go battle this um this guy. I forget what his name is. Um Vibrava. And Vibrava is going to dodge my Pokeball actually. So let's try that again. We'll throw it at the ground this time. And Vibrava? Vibrava Vibrava's being difficult. Vibrava okay, there you go. Vibrava decide to Vibrava decide to stop being difficult. We're actually at the exact same level. So I'll go for a bulk up um to try and uh, boost my chances and he's gonna go for a sand attack i'll go for a blaze kick which oh damn it i didn't mean to bulk up again that actually kind of sucks so not too big of a deal we'll go for a blaze kick instead hopefully i land he avoided the attack because i have two accuracy now and we do hit it with the critical hits so that's actually quite good and we learn close combat so that is the move we've been waiting for uh we pretty much oh we level up too i forgot about that so uh yeah we've been waiting for it to learn close combat that is the move we've wanted and now our monferno or rather infernape is pretty much as good as he's gonna get he has flare blitz bulk up and close combat so he is a pretty godly pokemon right now and I'm pretty, uh, pretty, pretty stoked to actually be able to use him. So uh, we are in third person suddenly. That is a glitch that's appeared in the newer Pixelmon version. I don't know what's, what's the dealio with that. But let's go try this bad boy out now. Um, I think we could pretty much honestly, oh, uh, well, we don't have any health. But we are going to be able to kick the butts of most of these dudes. And um, let's go for a, let's just go for a blaze kick. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. And yeah, I, I kind of saw that coming. I was a little bit worried he was going to be able to take me out. Um crap we still don't have any moves on him so um we can go for dragonite instead who can just go for an aqua tail and finish him off no problem look how big dragonite got though he is i believe an enormous dragonite so obviously the higher level we g he, okay we're let's, let's go for a dragon rush maybe he's gonna avoid every attack um 
is he using minimize and I wasn't paying attention or is he just getting really really lucky okay he was getting really really how do you get a burn after I killed him that's so sad oh well or yeah how do you burn me after I I don't know who cares there is what is that oh oh it's a Pokemon Center I was like what is that big red thing over there so uh, let's pokey heal really quickly because not trying to get uh, not trying to get these guys to die anymore. Um, so we're going to go for a blaze kick on him. It should just do lots of damage because blaze kicks a really good move. Yeah, as you can see, it's not even like it, it's we're, we're super effective or anything. It's just blaze kick is such a good freaking move. That's uh, that's the reason we're doing so much damage to these guys. Let's actually battle this Magmar instead, because I don't know, they tend to be a high level. Yeah, as you can see, level 47 Magmar. So that's perfect. It's exactly what we want to be battling. I'm gonna go for close combat, and we only have we don't have that many moves on Infernape, which is kind of a uh, kind of could be a problem if we don't. But if we play smart, we should be fine. And fatal error. So, and then there was one. We are down to Infernape. Everyone else is ready. Gengar learns a ton of good moves, so he's actually relevant now. He got Shadow Ball. We had Confuse right, and he I got him Dream Eater. So essentially, we could do Hypnosis and then Dream Eater to be a pretty, pretty goddamn deadly uh, guy if we get the right setup. So hopefully, we could do that. Um, and uh, yeah, so now we just have to tr finish training up Infernape here. That is the last Pokemon that we have here uh, to train up. So I'm just gonna try and battle as many of these guys as we can. We're pretty slow. How did that guy outspeed us? That's not good, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised by that. So uh, these Doug trios are proving to be a bigger or a better match than I originally anticipated. Um, but nonetheless, we can go battle. Oh, there's a Flygon, so we'll battle the Flygon. Because uh, these things are they always give tons of experience. So go for a Blaze Kick on you. Shouldn't be, you know, it's not the best move, but it's... Oh, you're going to kick my butt, aren't you? Mm, should I go for close combat instead? I mean, I can. Oh, it worked! Why did that work? I don't know. Why Why did that kill him? Well, the other thing didn't. Is that a bay leaf? If that's a bay leaf. I'm gonna go catch it. Uh, oh, it's a scyther. Well, I, I could battle the scyther. He's probably a pretty high level. So we'll go for a blaze kick on you. And we'll hopefully finish you off. Your evasion's gonna increase. And we have... Okay, so we have two more levels to go. And then we can move on to actually being ready for the tournament. So this is actually really hype, guys. I'm pretty excited for this. And uh, fortunately, we don't need that many... Ow, Ice Fang. We don't need that many... Uh, Levels left to go. We are uh, we are getting or we don't need that much more experience. Fortunately, we don't have like super high experience caps. Like I think Blaziken's experience cap is like five or ten thousand more than uh, Infernape's. We we really don't. He doesn't require nearly as much experience. We can finish them off. Uh, there's a few Genghiscons. Genghiscon gives tons of experience, so uh, we definitely want to battle them. And I missed him very very miserably there. So let's try that again and. We'll go for close combat to mix it up, because I've been using Blaze Kick all these times, and oh god, he is kicking my butt. But then we kill him with close combat, and as you can see, we are going to get to level 47 as well as kill this Genghis Khan. Or, yeah, we should get level 47 after killing this Genghis Khan, which we are super effective against, fortunately for us. And there's a Scyther. Scyther, you may be the- oh, Scyther v Scyther, just kidding. I was going to say that Scyther may be the one to push us over the edge. So what's the highest level one here? It looks like this one. That's actually kind of cool. They're traveling in like a little pack right there. Oh, the little one back there is actually the the highest level. So let's go battle him. And hello, level 48, Genghis Khan. I think you'll be the Genghis Khan to get us to level 50. And ready for this tournament? Yes, so Infernape is level 50, guys. Oh, hype, hype. So we are finally got everyone to the appropriate level. Everyone has really good moves. Um, like, there's a few moves on some of them where it's like, I don't really need that. I'm going to go through my TMs uh, in the chest and see if there's any changes I would like to make. Um, I don't I don't actually know. I kind of completely forgot what I have in there. But um, it cannot hurt. But I'm going to thank you guys for watching. This was a kind of a grindy episode. I try to cut it up to make it a bit more interesting for you. Just kind of showing you the highlights. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys, will leave a like down below. Next episode, obviously, we are going to be doing the tournament. So, uh, big, pretty excited for that, actually. Uh, hopefully, that goes well. And, uh, yeah, so as always, I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.